I deserve good things. I'm entitled to my happiness. I refuse to beat myself up. I am an attractive person. I am fun to be with. This is Daily Affirmations with Stuart Smalley. Stuart Smalley is a caring nurturer, a member of several 12-step programs, but not a licensed therapist. I'm going to do a terrific show today, and I'm going to help people. Because I'm good enough, I am smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. Hello, I'm Stuart Smalley. Well, I still am receiving some negative feedback for when I mistakenly posed for a picture with a former colleague and pretended to grope her when she was asleep. The photo has been all over social media. And the woman recently went public with it. I have to admit it was a bad and offensive joke, but that's okay. I have to give myself permission to have bad jokes every now and then. One more reminder for those of you who are not seeing this right now, rather hearing it through headphones on your phone, please wear a mask, especially if you're in a grocery store. Now, I don't care if you're at Hy-Vee, Cub, Whole Foods, wear a I'm not going to say any vulgar language right now, but please wear a mask. The only reason I'm not wearing one is that I'm in safe in my own home that I have cleaned at least six times today, okay? Okay, for those of you who watch the show regularly, you know that I never have guests. I always do the show alone. But the other day, my producer came up to me and said, Stuart, you, I can get you a guest. You'd be insane not to be on the show. So I decided to take a risk in life. You know, you have to take risks. So without further ado, please welcome the President of the United States, Donald Trump. Hello, Mr. President. Thank you, Stuart. How are you? I'm fine. Now, Donald J., I won't say what the J stands for because I want to protect your anonymity. Donald J. Trump, you recently finally made a decision to wear a mask in public, as the vast majority of Americans are doing to prevent exposure to the infection of the coronavirus. Can you tell me what finally made you decide to do your patriotic duty? Well, Stuart, uh, Jared and Ivanka finally convinced me that it was the right thing to do because uh, if the experts say it's the right thing to do, you do it. It's the right thing to do. But, uh, you know, where we may have a problem is if someone is in church or working out or at, working at a construction site or eating dinner at a restaurant and, and, and there's and they have a heart attack and there's a, a fatality, especially if it's a young child like in school. Like we may have to tell the Fauci ouchies at the CDC, you know, we have to re-examine the mandate. So we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see, but you could, I, I'm going to take it off whenever I want to, you know, so, uh, because I can. It's, uh, what's your next question, Stuart? Oh, it must be a lot of pressure for you to make decisions that affect everyone in this country. I can only imagine you lay awake at night and think I'm not good enough. Everyone is better than me. I'm not going to get many votes in the next election. I have no business running this country. Wrong. Not true. Not true. Oh, okay, then, well, I see that you disagree, and that's okay. A difference of opinion is what makes this world, well, maybe not the world, but this country go around. Well, that's so true, that's so true, unless you're the liberal media, because it's it's fake news. They're fake news. Everything that differs from my opinion is not true, and I only listen to facts that affirm what I already believe, and nobody's going to tell me different. I am the president and anything that I say should be praised and acclaimed. And when we win another four years, and we're going to win another four years, it's going to happen. We're going to build the wall, like Mike said. When we win another four years, they're going to be very sorry. And if they're still not fair to me, they're going to have to suffer some consequences. It's the way it works, you know. So, yeah. And and I, I would say, too, that we'll probably win eight years, actually. We'll, we'll probably win eight, Stuart. And, Oh, okay. I understand the need for recognition of one's accomplishments, but punishment is not exactly your play. The people who are the haters don't exist, okay? People who actually exist, they respect me and anything and everything I say because, like, I'm a really smart guy. And you saw the recent test. I went to an Ivy League school. They taught me person 
talking about person, camera, man, woman, TV, and there are all kinds of cameras here. And I'm I'm very smart, and and real live people respect me, Stuart. It it's total respect, and I have better hair than you, and I have a great relationship with the police. I love our police, and, and they love me. It's it's such a great relationship that, as I've said many times before, many times I could walk out on the street in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot someone, shoot a radical left protester vandalizing the great Trump Tower and my people would still fall down on their knees for me and the cops wouldn't arrest me. They would they would take a knee for me. They would take a knee. In fact, I am the only person in the world anyone, anyone should ever kneel to, you know? You know? Well, so, okay, sure, certainly you are entitled to such a positive ideal of yourself as a savior of sorts. It'll be bigger, bigger and better than Jesus. I'd be bigger and better than, than John Lennon. Uh, I'd say, you know, I made beautiful music. I hit my music teacher because he didn't know anything about music when I was eight or nine. Because I'm a tough guy. I'm smart, but I'm tough. If that's what you believe, then so be it. But Donald, I would really like to move on to my next question. Actually, I'll once again frame it as a statement. Uh, Fred Trump Sr., your father, there must be times when you turn off Fox News on the TV and call Melania on the cell phone, even though she's in the next room, and you say, oh, well, geez, hon, even with all that I've accomplished, I still don't think that I'm pleasing Daddy. Even he would be disappointed in me. He was disappointed in my brother Freddie, and he's looking down on me and be da to being disappointed to totally me, Totally untrue. Totally untrue. I don't know where you're getting that, Stuart, you're, but it's a disgrace. Your, your sources, your producers are a disgrace. My father was a great man, great guy, a strong man who knew weakness when he saw it. Well, Donald, I read the few patches, passages from uh, your niece's book, Too Much and Never Enough, so that's the answer to your pondering of where I she's got it. She's a total liar. She's, she's not rich. She's trash. She's ugly. But Donald, do you think that maybe you'll never be enough for Donald Trump Sr.? No, no, I don't, Stuart. He, he loved me 100% unconditionally. It was on condition that I pay him back the million-dollar loan with interest, which I did. It wasn't easy, but I did it. Oh, I see. So how does that make you feel? Totally fantastic, because I knew I would be able to do it. Like I said, it wasn't easy. I came close to giving up, but I, I knew all along I could do it. But... but uh, and, and, you know, um, I know how you like to boast about how you went to graduated from an Ivy League school. Correct. Wharton School, I, I want to be clear on this, Wharton School of Design at the University of Pennsylvania. Very prestigious. You also claim you get the got the best grades in your class. I was the most smartest kid, most smartest student. You also claim that... Back All when A's. you were in All A's. military school, you were one of the greatest baseball players your coach oh, had ever seen. the absolute seen. best. Way better than the great Roberto Clemente and Pete Rose, I'd say. Fast arm. Way better than Fauci. He sucks. He's an unathletic nerd. Dude can't play sports. Now, Don, this is important because hardly anybody talks about it. I understand that your high school alma mater, the New York Military Academy, had to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2015 and was soon after bought up by a Chinese company. China bought it. It still exists, but it's a disaster. Okay? I see. Disaster. Would you say that's one of the reasons you're so hard on China? Oh, totally. Totally. Because a hard yes on that. I see. And, well, and, and when I look back at that once great school, Stuart, and, I, and it was a great school, fantastic school, it's a shame that the state of New York, they didn't do enough to restore it. They threw in the towel, and they, they let the Chinese have it. You go to the academy now, and it looks like a poorly run democratic city that hates the cops, complete with lawlessness, total lawlessness. Skulls need to be bashed in. We're going to make sure of that in the second term. Moving on, Donald, you and you are very respected for this. Do not drink alcohol. Yes, that's true. Do you think that's one of the biggest reasons behind that is that your brother Freddie is an alcoholic, is yeah. it not? Yes, that's right. You see, Freddie always told me not to drink. He told me, Donald, don't drink. And I never have to this day. I never drank, never smoked. I know you used humor when answering this question in the past. What would you be like if you drank alcohol? I would most certainly not be a great leader like Vladimir Putin or like Maduro in Venezuela or Rodrigo Duarte in the Philippines, uh, 
Erdogan of Turkey, President G of China. I'd be a mess, okay? I'd be worse than my brother. I'd let him and my father, I'd let them both down. And you'd let your father down as well? Absolutely. I'd let the whole family. Okay, fair, fair game. But I love hearing that, Stuart. You know, I love it when people suck up, Stuart. And Stuart, you know, what people have to realize is that a president of the United States has total authority. Absolute total authority. Um, okay, well, this is not going anywhere. Uh, this has been a show, has right. been a total disaster. I haven't got anywhere with you. All you do is talk about you how great you right. are, how you can do whatever you want, Mr. High and Mighty, the greatest president that has ever lived, and I am a bad comedian who had to step down from the Senate. Even my movie flopped. I'm a fraud. I'm a loser. And I don't even deserve to be a host on this show. Well, uh, and you can't even admit your shortcomings. Wrong. Uh, my comings are very tall and they're very long. And you know that's not. You know that's that's not true, Stuart. Your show, this show, all these people, they've done a lot of good, and you've helped a lot of people. You know. Don't have to be sad. Uh, thanks. Do you really mean that? Nope. I mean your show sucks. I really don't. I mean I was just kidding. In fact, I think. I should be the host because there is nobody that can do it better than me. I'm the greatest there ever was. I am the closest person to God. I'm Jesus. In fact, I very well could be God. I like to think of, I mean, no one is God other than our police. Uh, Blue lives matter. We got to protect our police, you know, but I, 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 you try, you try. Well, um, you're entitled to your own opinion. You know, Donald, I am rubber and you are glue. And uh, well, I see a producer coming over here. I love uh, blacks for Trump, you know. Uh, curious. How, how much longer? Oh, um, longer? Uh, I was just informed from the, by the producer that um, you have a warrant for your arrest at, for the incitement at the Capitol on January 6th, so we have to end the show early. What? Um, yeah. Would you like to do a me. recite a daily affirmation with me? Uh, no, last words? I will not, because I am innocent, and I will, in fact, fight like hell till all of my legal defenses are exhausted. Good night, Stuart, and good night, everyone that uh, d disagrees with me and agrees with me. You're all you're all losers. Thank you. Blue lives matter. I love your work. In fact. <laughs>